Pets, especially dogs, get very attached to their owners. They see their owner as protection and support, a true friend. They are ready to defend their master and also run to them for protection. Sometimes animals will surprise us with their level of devotion. This story is about a man named Nick Wake. He lived in a house on the outskirts of a forest with a shepherd dog named Terry. Nick loved Terry very much, and they spent a lot of time together. They especially liked to wander through the forest, enjoying the nature and each other's company. Terry was a very obedient and well-mannered dog. She understood every command Nick gave her and was always loyal to him. For this reason, Nick felt comfortable letting her off the leash when they were on their walks. She never wandered far and would always come back quickly when he called. One day, Nick and Terry went out for one of their walks through the forest early in the morning. It was a beautiful sunny day and Nick brought some food for them so they could spend the entire day out in nature. As usual, once they were in the forest, Nick let Terry off her leash. On this day, everything went as usual. Terry happily ran around Nick and obediently retrieved the stick he occasionally threw. However, when Nick stopped to admire some trees, he suddenly realized that his dog was no longer around. He called for her, confident that as soon as she heard his voice, she'd immediately return as always, but she didn't respond. Nick began to worry because this had never happened before. He began to run through the woods, calling for his dog as loud as he could, but to no avail. Nick realized that something must have happened to the dog because she would never deliberately ignore his calls. He wandered through the forest calling her name as tears ran down his cheeks. Out of desperation, he decided to go to the village to ask local residents for help. He was worried his dog had been captured in a trap left by poachers or caught by a wild animal. As Nick was leaving the forest, there was a rustling in the nearby bushes. He jumped in surprise and fear. If it had been Terry, she would surely have emitted a joyful bark, so this must be some sort of wild animal hiding in the bushes. Nick got a hold of himself and gently peered into the bushes. How happy he was to discover that it was indeed his dog, Terry! But there appeared to be something wrong with her as she didn't make a sound, and after a moment, Nick realized that there was something strange in her mouth. As Terry came closer, Nick could see that it was a tiny puppy in Terry's mouth. She brought the foundling to her master and laid it gently at his feet. He took the little puppy in his arms to get a closer look. It was a brand new little black puppy. His eyes weren't even open yet. Terry clearly expected her owner to help in some way. Nick couldn't let her down, so he brought the little puppy home. He didn't know what to do with him, but decided to feed him until he could eat on his own. The next two weeks were a real test for Nick. The puppy had to be fed every two hours with a special bottle. He constantly wanted to eat whenever he wasn't sleeping. Terry never left her new friend. She kept him warm by sleeping right next to him. Nick couldn't figure out what kind of breed this dog was. He thought maybe it was a wolf, but he couldn't be sure. The puppy quickly grew and was able to eat and move around the house on his own. He got into everything and constantly made messes. Terry loved to play with him as Nick cheerfully watched. But during one of their games, Nick was amazed to see the small black puppy climb to the very top of the closet all on his own. What kind of dog can climb so easily? It made Nick a little uncomfortable not knowing what kind of animal he had brought into his home. The next day, Nick brought him to the veterinary clinic so that an experienced doctor could determine what species this strange animal belonged to. The veterinarian looked at the animal for a long time and then determined him to be a black sable baby. He advised Nick to get rid of him as soon as possible because these animals are very curious and playful and, as a result, can cause a lot of damage. When Nick brought the sable back home, he put him on the floor and Terry licked him for a very long time. It was evident how much the dog missed him while he was away. So Nick thought for a long time about what to do, whether he should follow the advice of the vet and release him back into the forest. But seeing how attached Terry had become, he decided to keep him. Then one day, when he came home from work, Nick discovered a terrible mess. The sable managed to open the closet door and dump all of the clothes on the floor, which he and Terry then rolled around on. This made Nick so angry that he decided to take the sable into the forest and leave him there. He expected the sable to immediately rush into the wild, but he was wrong. Instead, he just stood next to Nick and Terry and waited. At that moment, Nick realized that the animal was no longer wild and he was now responsible for a new pet. He also understood that he simply could not separate these two new friends. When they returned home, Nick began to figure out ways to equip his home to be suitable for a sable to live. He locked up all the cupboards and closets and he provided empty shelves for the sable to freely climb. 
In short, it was now not only Nick and Terry's home, but also the Little Black Sables. If you enjoyed this story, please click the like button. Write your opinion in the comments, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so yet, and do not forget to click the bell so you do not miss new incredible stories from around the world.